Hi everyone! So it's been a while. Again, I'm really sorry. I've been super busy with work. Uh, I literally come home from work and take a nap because I'm so exhausted every day. And um, so yeah, anyway, so I wanted to post a video because some of you have been writing to me saying, we miss you, why aren't you posting, and I feel terrible. Um, so obviously I want to be posting as much as possible, but I just need to be able to find the time and the light. And currently I have enough light to do it, so I figured I might as well go through with making a video. So I wanted to make a video about Stila's lip glaze set. This one is called All Is Bright. And I thought it was really cute in a very good collection of colors. Um, I have the one from last year as well, and I feel like last year everything was very muted and very sheer. I mean, the lip glazes are known to be sheer, but these were especially nude-ish colors. And I was really excited because this specific set actually has some really great variety of colors that aren't all nudey, and um, I think some of them are actually really fun. Um, so I'm going, I'm going to go through the process of clicking these through until product comes out because I forgot that that takes forever with these, so be right back. Okay, so now that's all done. Um, so I'm going to start off with, uh, this one is called Holly. And uh, so all of these come originally with a little stopper that kind of looks like this on the top and then you kind of take it off and click through until the product comes out. As you can see, um, once you push it all the way to the top so that the product comes out, it doesn't look like very much. So that actually really surprised me last year and it did it to me again this year because um, it seems like a lot more product until you push it all the way to the top to get it to come out. Um, However, it is 0.05 ounces in each one, and it's $25 for all of them, so it actually still ends up being a very good value, so don't feel cheated. <laughs> um, so this one is called Holly, and I'm just going to swatch this one. And this one was one of my favorite bright colors. It's, um, oh, it smells good too. It smells like Starburst, <laughs> which some people may not like, but I thought this was a very, very pretty kind of like reddish pink I guess is the best way to put it. I, it it leans very pink ish so maybe almost like a reddish fuchsia kind of color very pretty nice and glossy and I don't see any glitter in here which I'm not a fan of so good that it doesn't have glitter it's not my thing really so this next color is called jingle and this is also a very pretty color it's kind of like a lightish kind of coral pink color and again very nicely pigmented and so that's that's a nice color as well and the next one is called jolly that's funny so holly jingle and jolly I never noticed the names of these anyway so this one is a pink with a hint of a shimmer to it um, this is a, a very faint shimmer it's not like BAM glitter which again I am NOT a fan of this one is very much um, it, it's not in your face about the glitter which I like but like I said, this is a lighter pink, and you can see the little bits of shimmer in there. Um, but again, it's not super in your face glitter, so that's welcome. <laughs> All right, the next color is called Joy. I'm loving these names. So this is almost like a hot pink kind of color, which I thought was great. Um, I'm really loving that this winter, uh, it's not all about just bright red lipsticks. It's like, oh, hey, you can go bright pink or bright fuchsia. And, and you know, it's as long as it's bright, it's fun, right? So this is, what was this again? It's Joy. So again, kind of like a, a hot pink fuchsia magenta kind of color. Really pretty. And again, all of these smell great. And um, I think for people who haven't tried these before, they can be sticky. So that's something that you should know. And, and if it's something that you really, really hate, these are sticky. I would not say that they are as, as sticky as like MAC lip glasses though. Um, but because of that, they also don't tend to last as long as uh, MAC lip glasses. So something to consider. This next one is called Splendor. So again, this one has uh, glitter in it, but this one is... Um, it's like, again, it's like an iridescence, so it's not like chunky glitter. It's it's just kind of a, like a little bit of a shine in there. And I feel like this is a little bit more lavender than the other one that contains glitter. So it's kind of like a pinky purple, and it's very sheer. 
Um, I think this is probably my least favorite color, not, be not because it's ugly, but because I don't think it'll look very good on me. Um, but it's still very pretty. So uh, the next color, this one is called Black Cherry. I love that they included a kind of dark berry color because that's so of the moment right now. And um, this one is great because it's not in your face dark. It's just a good hint of berry color, which I think is great for the people who are afraid of really kind of doing the really dark berry lip. This just kind of like lets you try it out with, without really having it be too, um, too dark, you know, or too sireny or something like that. This is definitely like a great color to kind of like introduce you into wearing darker berry colors. The next one is called Sugar Plum, and this is a very great nudie kind of color, uh, at least for me. I think for fairer skinned people, this will definitely yield a color that looks like what's in the tube. But for people that are of olive skin, I think this will definitely be one of those colors where it'll be like my lips but better kind of a deal um, because my lips are so pigmented already that colors like this just kind of tend to give me like an even kind of color, which is great. And I love having colors like this in my collection. And this has no shimmer in it or anything. So it's a really nice kind of thing to keep in your purse if you ever just need a little bit of something. So this last one is actually called Jack Frost. And it looks so, so pretty in the tube, but it does have glitter in it. And again, not, it's just, it's more of like an iridescence again, but um, it's very sheer. And I think this would be better as kind of like a top coat on top of other colors is the best way that I can put it because it doesn't have very much color on its own, but it adds this beautiful kind of like shine and like sheen that I think would be really great on top of like a red lipstick or you know, something of that sort. So it's a great little color to have in this set, but definitely not something I'd wear on my own. Um, you might even wear it over a nude color to just add a little bit of dimension. I think that would look really cool too. So all in all, I think that for $25, um, all of these that you get in the set are great colors. I don't think there are any duds in here that make me go, ooh, no one can wear that. They, like These are really great, universally flattering colors, and that's kind of why I, li I like Stila so much. Uh, and their lip glazes is because their colors are never so, you know, like in your face, opaque and bright that it just makes it so that people can't wear it or certain skin colors can't wear it. These very much keep that in mind, I think. So this is a really great set and it's still available on Sephora and I think it's a really great purchase and I think it would be one of those really fun things to give your friend for Christmas as well. So, you know, if you need a Christmas present for someone who likes makeup, this is a good one. <laughs> Anyway, so that's my review and, you know, my swatches and hopefully you guys um, got a pretty good idea of what comes in the set and, uh, you know, if you were on the fence, maybe I helped you make a decision. So, all right, well, that's it for today and uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye.